Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning. Today's topic of discussion is on covariance and correlation. These two topics comes under the bivariate statistics. So what are the different statistical operations that can be performed on the bivariate data? Covariance is the first one and correlation is the second one. Let us see in detail these two statistical measures. So the first one here is the covariance. Covariance is a measure of joint probability of random variables say x and y. x and y are the random variables and has to be represented in the capital letters. So we are going to write the covariance in this form COV. COV stands for covariance. Covariance between these two variables x and y. It can measure the variance between two dimensions. So these things in simpler words I can tell you in this manner. Covariance is a statistical measure that helps describing the relationship between two variables. For example, you take x and y. It tells you how two variables change together. Specifically, it shows whether an increase in one variable is associated with an increase or decrease in another variable. So in more detail, I can tell like this, uh, this covariance, we have the positive covariance, negative covariance and zero covariance. In positive covariance in the data set whatever two variables you have x and y and since we are talking about here bivariate data there are only two variables one is the independent variable x and the other one is the dependent variable y so if i say there is a positive covariance exist it means that when one variable goes up the other tends to go up as well in negative covariance if one variable goes up the other tends to go down. We have one more type called as zero covariance. If the variables do not show any consistent relationship, the covariance is zero. This means what? It means that changes in one variable are not at all associated with any consistent pattern in the other. Hence, we need to find the covariance between these two variables x and y. To find this, we have a formula. The formula is like this. Covariance of x comma y equal to 1 divided by n n is the number of data points in the data set so use this formula in order to find out the covariance between the two variables x and y in this formula xi and yi xi and yi are the data values from x and y because in the data set you will be having what the values under each of this variable so xi and yi denotes the data values e of x and e of y are the mean values of xi and yi n is the number of the given data so covariance x comma y can also be written as covariance of y comma x both means the same now let us work an example on this so things will be more clearer now the question is like this find the covariance of the data x equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and y is equal to 1 4 9 16 25 so these two variables which are there x and y given values are 1 2 3 4 5 and y is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Now, how to find this? Make use of the formula. So, first in the, form in the formula, you require the mean of x. So, you find out the mean of x first. The total value will be 15. There are 5 elements. So, 15 divided by 5, 3. You will get mean of x as 3. Mean of y, if you add up all the values in y, you will get 55. 55 divided by 5, you will get mean of y equal to 11. Now make use of this 3 and 11 in the formula. So your formula is like this. Start substituting the values. You are having what? You have to carry out for all the data values given. Xi first time will be what? 1. And Yi 1. So you are substituting here Xi, Yi. Xi is 1. 1 minus of mean value. Mean value is 3. And mean of Y is what? 11. Mean of X is 3. Mean of y is 11 plus then next take xi is 2 y i xi as 2 y i as 4 so xi as 2 and y i is 4 mean is 3 mean of x is 3 mean of y is 11 then next xi 3 y i 9 3 9 mean of x is 3 mean of y is 11 xi 4 y i 16 which is here mean of x is 3, mean of y is 11, xi 5, yi 25, 
mean of x is 3 and mean of y is 11. Simplify this and you have to go divide by n. n is what? The number of elements here it is 5. So, once you divide, substitute all the values, you will get 12. So, we can write down here the covariance between the x and y is 12. Fine. x and y is 12. So, this is the answer here. Now, apart from covariance, you should be knowing about correlation. The value here is 12. So, covariance indicates what the relationship that exists between the two variables x and y. How strong is the relationship that we will not come to know with the covariance. For, for that, we need to go for the correlation coefficient. So, correlation, correlation indicates the relationship on, between the dimensions using its sign. The sign is more important than the actual values. So, what is the conclusion from the previous explanation? Covariance between x and y is equal to 12. So, with this value, we will not come to know how strong is the relationship between the two variables. Correlation indicates the relationship between the two dimensions, but now here you are making use of the sign also. Positive sign, negative sign and zeros. So, when we calculate the correlation coefficient, we will get the value. If we are having a positive value, it indicates that the dimensions increases together. Negative correlation is when one dimension increases, the other dimension decreases. Zero correlation indicates that both the dimensions are independent of each other. Whatever input data we use to find the covariance, we can use the same input data here to find the correlation coefficient. Because for us, we need to find out here how strong is the relationship between the two variables. So, it is also called as the Pearson coefficient which is indicated by the lower case r here, r equal to covariance of x comma y divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. So, in order to find out the correlation coefficient, first you need to find out the covariance only, then substitute the value in this formula and get the value for the correlation coefficient. For this, now anyway we have computed already the covariance, we know that it, we got the value as 12, we will find out the values for standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. So, we will use one example here in order to compute this. After you compute the value for standard deviation, you will get 1.41 as standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y you will get 8.64. Here how to calculate the standard deviation of x? Standard deviation of x, this is the formula. Okay. In this formula, you, you will be using the mean of x. So, this x bar is here, mean of x. xi denotes what? The data points in the data set. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And n denotes what? The number of elements or the number of data points in the data set. So, in our example, n equal to 5. You can check here, we have 5 elements here for x. So, first thing is, let us calculate the mean. Mean, when you calculate we have to take the sum of all the elements. So, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When you add up, you will get 15. So, to get the mean, we have to divide this 15 by 5 and we will get 3. So, the mean of x is 3. So, this value we will substitute in the formula. So, you need to substitute all the numbers in this formula. First, so your value for xi will be what? First time 1, here 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the elements given in the problem statement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mean of x is 3 which you are using here in the formula. Substitute all the values and you will get under root of 10 by 5. Then that will be under root of 2 which is equal to 1.21. So, so, this value 1.21 is the one which I am using here in the formula to find the correlation coefficient. Similarly, we require standard deviation of y. So, standard deviation of y, you are using this formula. Now, now in this formula, what you will be doing? You, you should be substituting the values of y given in the problem statement. We have 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25. 1, 4, 9, 16 and 25 are the values. And these values will be your yi. And y bar is the mean. Y bar, you add up all these numbers. 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. You will get how much? 55. So, divide by the total numbers. Here it is 5, 55 divided by 5, 11. So, your mean of y is 11. So, in the formula, we can substitute here for mean of y and all yi. yi will be what? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. These are the 5 
numbers given in the problem so your yi is 1 4 9 16 and 25 and in the formula you require require mean of y which we got 11 so substitute here 11 11 11 then when you simplify you will be getting what finally under root of 374 divided by 5 which is equal to under root of 74 by 8 so the value for this is 8.6486 so your standard deviation of y is 8.6486 for the students who are not knowing the procedure how to compute the standard deviation of a particular variable I have shown here all these steps by substituting the values because now for us to find out the correlation coefficient r we require the standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y in the numerator it is covariance of x and y we will substitute now so covariance already we computed it is 12 standard deviation of x is 1.41 standard deviation of y is 8.6486 so when you simplify you will get r value as 0 0.984 covariance value you got it as how much 12 correlation coefficient value you got it as 0 0.984 now this covariance value equal to 12 what does it indicate a covariance value of 12 between the two variables x and y indicates the direction of the relationship so here 12 means it is a positive relationship the fact that the covariance is positive that is 12 in this case means that x and y x and y tend to increase together when x increases y also tend to increase and vice versa if x decreases y will likely decrease as well covariance gives only the direction but does not have a fixed scale the magnitude 12 here tells us that there is some relationship between x and y but it does not tell us how strong that relationship is so to find out how strong the relationship is we have to compute the correlation coefficient and we got a value 0.984 so this correlation coefficient value 0.984 indicates a very strong positive linear relationship between the two variables x and y positive correlation because here we are seeing a positive correlation the thing is as one variable increases the other variable also increases in a perfectly linear fashion so that is why we came to know how strong the relationship is because this 0.984 is very close to plus one which suggests that the two variables have a strong positive relationship this means as one variable increases the other variable almost certainly increases as well and the relationship between the two is almost linear with only a small amount of deviation just with covariance we cannot find out because we don't know the units suppose for example you are having two variables x and y x is height in centimeters let us assume and y is weight in kilograms so when you compute the covariance you will get some value but suppose if I am changing the unit of y from kilograms to milligrams then the value of the covariance also changes if, but if I am finding the correlation coefficient one time with height in centimeters and weight in kilograms second time height in centimeters and weight in milligrams I will be getting the same value of the correlation coefficient and correlation coefficient can be positive negative and zero in this case we got 0 0.984 and 0 0.984 is very close to plus one so which is indicating a strong positive relationship that is existing between the two variables. So this is what is the importance of the two statistical measures covariance and correlation coefficient under bivariate statistics. So that is it in the session. Hope you find this helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.